in order for volunteering to be relevant for the development of societies, in order to us, to, for our actions to be relevant for a better future, the values are important. And that's why we tried in this chapter somehow to tackle upon some of the important sub uh, sub issues, if I may call them like that, such as democratic engagement, because we believe that volunteering requires a democratic society and a full democratic Europe everywhere. It's volunteering and the democracy are really uh, connected uh, in, uh, uh, I mean, in, re in recipro reciprocity. Um, and um, it is really important to know that history has shown that not every action in our community is uh, a democratic action. And we need to be aware of that. And that's why it's very important to link very strongly uh, volunteering with democratic values. Um, and as I, of course, mentioned other European values. Dignity and freedom are so much in the heart of volunteering. Uh, volunteering is a free choice will. And why is that important? It's important because exactly from the free will comes the potential for a stronger solidarity in our societies and comes the potential for a more democratic society. What did we have to do at the, at the, at the beginning? We started as a, one of the main hubs in Berlin um, where many people came in, many people had to be supplied with a lot of things, first aid, uh, transport to the next place, logistics in, a, in, in the city, um, simple things which they needed for, the, for everyday life because many of them just came with a small bag and didn't have anything from their former life in, in, uh, in the Ukraine. Um, we had to organize accommodation, we had to organize the registration, the educational questions for the children. Um, of course, children protection, very important. Um, and we had to care for people who are in danger because, for example, journalists can't work anymore in, in Russia or in other countries if they write about things happening in, in the Ukraine. So it's a big mixture of tasks we had and we have still. And uh, what we also do is we start thinking about the, the days after this, uh, this, um, these challenges of coming in. So we think about the question, how can we support people staying in Germany, staying in the European Union, staying in our community, which is for many people already very, very important because their houses don't stand anymore in the Ukraine and they don't know how to go back and when they could uh, come back. So we also talk about midterm integration and participation of people staying in the middle of our city and don't, uh, um, are not knowing how to come back into the Ukraine. So what we tried to establish is from the first hour of coming in, um, support of the many volunteers who, um, for example, helped at the st central bus stop, at the central main station, at um, other places where already a lot of people were coming in. And we tried to give them a good framework. Um, so this was one of the main, main uh, paradigms of our approach these, these days. We learned a lot about um, how to do it wrong in, in earlier times. And now we knew that this is one of the main uh, things we have to do. So we started with the close communication, for example, also with the organizations from the Ukraine and from people who come from the Ukraine and living in Berlin already with welfare organizations and so on. Um, we implemented in all these institutions, in the, all these systems at the beginning, we implemented uh, volunteer management. So, for example, at the main station of Berlin, there is a volunteer management at the station, uh, at the airport station where people are registered, we have this volunteer management. And so volunteers are partners in this whole setting. And I think this is a, main, is a very, very important message. And uh, our new governing mayor also established a so-called um, council of the civil society um, working with together with her 
um, and meeting her uh, regularly and uh, also with the permanent secretary, um, Mrs. Trasnea. So we did this already last year, no, the, the year before, when we had um, established a so-called engagement strategy for Berlin, a strategy to empower and to support civic engagement in our city. Um, and we involved a lot of stakeholders from civil society, Senate, science, chambers of commerce, and so on. We tried to bring all together and um, to establish a, a common strategy for the city. My third point is um, I wanted to tell you that uh, we have had a change in Berlin in, in, the, in the election. Uh, we have a new governing mayor. And I think um, Mrs. Giffey, the new governing mayor, has, um, has um, adopted this way of approaching a big challenge like bringing the, the refugees into a, um, into a good um, um, solution in Berlin. She adopted the, these solutions and um, went um, very, very, very quickly into communication with all partners and stakeholders who can do anything on this, on this area. Um, she established a new, um, um, a new permanent secretary in the Senate Chancellery who is responsible for uh, in, uh, active citizenship and democracy support. So this has a, lot, a high range uh, level in, in, the, in the Senate Chancellery as well now. Um, and what is very important is that we have a strong commitment of this new Senate that this strategy I talked about just before uh, will be implemented in the um, policy of this of the Senate. So in the next five years, um, the, the, the projects of this strategy will be implemented and will be um, funded by this by this new government. So in the whole, I think we have learned a lot and perhaps um, you will have a discussion where you can um, see whether this could be um, also used for other for other cities for other contexts. I think um, at the moment, this is, these are very challenging times and um, we are very much in favor of the idea to um, meet these challenges in a in a collaborative way, uh, both state and officials together with civil society.